for this. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. We do our ankles, and then we do the other one. Listen, we're gonna do a lot of holds today, work on our stability. Right here. It's gonna be calm. Calm. We need calm. calm. We need some calm. And if you wanna go for a little cardio later, you can do that. Not too late. <laughs> Not after six. <laughs> Give them hip circles. Circle in the hips. <laughs> <laughs> punch and twist and punch and twist. Don't punch me. We're in unison. I did nothing to you. You're mine. And there we go. Way up. Way up. And oh, circles already? Circle, circles already. You do it. Over, under. We're going to try a new move today, guys. It's going to be great. Scarecrow. A little lunge hold. I've done that before in a class or something. Make sure on your reverse, you're really pushing in hard with your shoulders, lift your hips up. And then the other side. Alright, All right, we warmed up our joints a little bit. Today's workout is mostly holds, so you don't need to do a huge warm up. We might just do a little bit more on our shoulders for the dips. But let's go through the movements, and then we get to the dips. We can do a little more if we need to. So the first thing is an overhead hold. So we have lots of things to choose from. Preferably use something where you can put it in both hands. All right. So if you had two dumbbells, you could just go straight up overhead. Yay. Okay, your palms could be facing forward or at each other. Either one's fine. If you have a plate, you can go overhead with your plate. If you truly only have one thing, you can do 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other. Um, but I prefer it to be two if you can. Alice will brought even a sandbag so you can see. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that. You name it. So that's a hold. You're just holding. Everything's tight. 
Arms are straight up overhead. If you look at me from the side, I'm not doing this to make it happen. None of this. I'm just as tall as I can be. I would rather you be slightly in front and keep all this straight than trying to get it back here and arching your back. Okay? Just because it's back here doesn't mean that everything's in a good solid position. Whereas if I'm here, I'm limited by how strong this is. And so that will fail. And you won't be able to hold it there. But you'll still be really working on getting stronger in your stability. Whereas here, I can hold all sorts of weight because I'm jamming up all my joints and ligaments. So please don't do that. Okay, suitcase hold. So one object on the side. We're just going to hold. We'll do 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. Again, you can do it with a plate and make it worse. You can do a plate pinch. So you're like this. So hard on the grip. You can hold on to your bag. One side. All sorts of options. And then I'll do the dips last. Lunge hold, curl and press. So I'm going to step forward. Boom, into your little lunge. You bend your back knee a little bit more. Yeah. And then you do a little curl and press. Yay. What is the thing? Whatever. Bicep curls for the girls. We are the girls. Curls Doing them for, for ourselves. Girls. Yes. All right. <laughs> you could try a, a bag. How would it go? <laughs> it could work. Yeah, you could do that if you wanted. You could try your plate. If you have your plate, this is a little bit awkward, but you could do it. Okay? Figure it out, all sorts of options. I dig it. 30 seconds, you'll switch legs. So if my right leg was forward, I'll switch, and my left leg will be forward, okay? Dips. Dips. So let's warm up a little bit to these. So I'm gonna have her do the easiest version first. That's with her feet very close, only partial range. That was four inch. That's your partial. She's very flexy in the shoulders. Okay, so that's the easiest. Make it a little bit harder. She can put her feet out in front. Come down. Boom. If she wants to make it even harder, she can put her feet up on an object. Good. Unfortunately, in the fake house, that slides. So we'll have to make it safer. You could also do this, where you take two chairs, and this, I find this a little bit less um, upsetting for my shoulders, and I come here, because then I can keep the angle a little bit more under control. If my hands are behind me, it's a lot more range, and I don't love it, so I'm probably going to do that unless both chairs go flying out from underneath me. So. One minute overhead hold, and then you'll switch to suitcase hold. Do 30, 30. And then your dips are 10 to 12. You'll rest the rest of the minute, and you'll do your lunge holds. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So we're on a one minute clock. We'll call it out as it gets close, and we'll switch. Boom. Switch your breath. Woo! 10 seconds! Ah! Starts with overhead holds. Three seconds! No extension in your back. We're just hanging out. Hanging out. I'm squeezing my butt cheek pretty hard though. Well, both of them. That's true. Not just one. But my hip is janky, so I feel it there. <laughs> Poor hip. Poor hip. This handhold is weird. suitcase hold or a plate pinch hold if you want to try that. Five, four, three, two, one. If you have one of these plates, try not to hold on to the lip. That's cheating. I might have to go to the lip though. Grip strength is 
not one of my specialties. So that's why I'm making myself do this, just to get a little stronger. 10 more seconds on this side. Three, two, one, switch. So if you do decide to do a plate pinch, it's probably not gonna be super heavy. Um, so if you wanna work on your grip, you could do a plate pinch. If you wanna work on the stability in your shrunk, you could try something heavier and just do a regular old suitcase carry. You can also do some of each, which is what I'm gonna do. 10 seconds, we're gonna go to dip. Three, two, one. Oh, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> 10 to 12, based on your ability. Ooh, getting fancy. <laughs> Ooh, chair move. We did squat holds and we thought it was going to be easy. <laughs> and then it wasn't. Five seconds. Two and switch. Overhead hold. Yeah. 
Make sure you're breathing. Let your arm curl its neck. I'm gonna try a different object just for fun. Do it. 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Stay in your in that lunge. Keep your tummy tight, especially when you go overhead. Squeeze your glutes. Three, two, uno. Overhead. That rib cage down. I'm noticing I'm starting to starting to fold. Yeah. Uh, here. Rib cage. Squeeze the booty. Squeeze the glutes. The glutes. <laughs> Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Dip time. Dip. He's gonna dip, dip. Oh, he's probably for you. I'm dead. Sorry for the yawn, guys. I didn't get much sleep last night. It's only about two to three helicopters circulating my neighborhood all night. <laughs> yeah, it was a rough night in SL in a lot of cities, so hopefully by the time you watch this, it'll be all over. Things are better. Overhead? Oh no. Oh, we no, no, no. Lunge. oh. lunge. Lunge and curl. Lunge and curl. On that balance too. Keep your back knee bent, tummy's tight. Squeeze your 
glutes. Five seconds. Two, one, switch legs. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Back to the overhead. With these odd objects, you just gotta get used to what works for your positioning. Even though this bag has, I think, eight handles, none of them are working right now, so just holding on to the bag, which is totally fine. If I had a backpack, I would do the same thing. You can even do this with a weight vest. Just wrap the weight vest up really tight and then just hold it overhead. 20 seconds. Try not to shrug up too much. Just stay nice, calm, neutral. We're gonna go with suitcase holds or plate pinches. 10 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Last round, guys. Maybe we should do an extra. Oh my God. I should do an extra. We'll do another one. One more. One more. Lunge and hold. Go back to my dumbbell. Five seconds. Three, Three two, two, one, one. go. Five seconds and then we'll switch. Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa. Good work on our balance, that's for sure. And sink lower if you can. Do our last round. Three, two, one. Overhead hold. Let's try something new. You can play around with objects and see how they challenge you differently. So these are two different objects, so the instability is a little bit greater in my shoulders. That sounds fun.
It is harder. Even though it's lighter, it's harder. Good job, you guys at home. Stay nice and tight. 20 seconds. Stay with it. Push in. Keep your elbows locked out. Don't let them bend. Keep your ribs down. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to our suitcase hold. Should have made her do something more. Just kidding. She pushed her on the line. Pretty hot. My temperature is hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's warm. Nice work, team. Five seconds and we'll switch. Three, two, one. I know some of you don't like these kinds of workouts because they're not the, eh, you know, heart rate is a million and you're about to die, but these are equally as important as those. Accessory work, guys. They play a big role in our fitness ability. So just commit to doing them and doing them to the best of your ability with your most focus and you will gain something from it. You won't see it outwardly, but you will. All right, dip. Five seconds. <laughs> Copy that. And switch. Keep your butts tight. Whoa! Ten seconds. Almost there, guys. And then your grip, maybe. Shouldn't be that much. Make sure your traps aren't up here when you're doing that. So your shoulders should be down, arm extended, and you're just pulling back on your fingers. Very gently. Your wrist is very delicate. Very delicate. You can also do some massaging in your grip. Your, your uh, shoulders might get uh, a little bit tired. You can just keep stretching them. 